I do have God gifted here. Uh, as we are starting at the moment. Uh, bank bus. Well, it's or or, or it could be Ron as well. It's or Ron or Julio. So let's see uh, based on ping. Was Julio is EU uh, Ron and or are not? We're gonna find out. We are heading into the first matchup. We're now heading into Aslan. Let's see if we see any different guns. We see FRs and cannons come out and XM8 for one snipe. God gifted with a JMAR. Battle rail again for Mars. Nevader and the JMAR. Pablito has a Dream Capture skin, so we can't use that one. Let's see his rifling. And his ping seems to be fairly low, so definitely an A. It's run or or, but yeah, not entirely sure who that is. Try to ask at like the end of a round, so it makes it a bit easier for us. The first kill has been made by Mark onto Bimbo King. Has one shot down. Yeah, by seeing how God Gifted plays, I'm pretty sure this is ping. So similar weapons being used as Zed for all now in the flash, shot down by Bay Effendi and Mark getting a second kill of the round onto Pablito. Luke is now going to come out. Apparently he made a 1v4 clutch earlier on. But I guess Julio will know who Pablito is. Killed by Dugon to Mark. One snap's being pushed out by God Gifted. Oh, Duke just missing a shot because Bay Effendi ducks. And that is a crucial thing to do. And it is Ron indeed, okay. That makes it a little bit easier for us to call. So Ron Tally. Smart's having a little cheeky look there at the pixel angle. It's not going to meet up with anyone there though. So it'll likely be got gifted to run into one snipe first. Though more players are there. He's jumping around there a little bit. They know he does that. And Zed for all actually with a kill onto Mart who's pushed up a little bit too far. But now see- Oh what?! What?! Was it killed by God Gifted?! We didn't even see! We just heard the headshot! And it's a jumping kill, a need also by one snap onto Mark. That's some great work by them. Zed for all is making his way into one. With the rest all retreating. But this could be good. Zed for all is waiting though. Zed for all is not taking full advantage of that just yet. But a full rotate for me, United has come in. Petaways doesn't spot Bimbo King. Yeah, they're gonna go over to one. A good rotate. Now it's going to make it much harder for them to come out. Kill onto Petaways as well. Bay Effendi got gifted alone. Two pointmen. There's a pointman and three rifles. One snipe with a kill and a second cleanup also. Solid round by the Bang Bus up the scores. Let's see if we can watch Zed for all who throws down a nade. That nade should land somewhere in the mid. I think it's towards the spot where Mark was at, so it's a pretty decent nade spot. Oh, Pablito with a kill onto God Gifted. Great work. Mark's in mid. Petaway is going to fall back a little bit. As soon as they figure out how to play against him here in the library area, as Duke gets a kill to be a Fendi, Bimbo King missing his nade there, unfortunately. Mark with a push down mid. I think he's heard one snipe is also there. Zethro once again going over to one. But Mark holding this, he's going to call that they're rotating, but Bimbo with a push onto him. And now Mart is under pressure. He's heard one pass. It's going to allow him to pass. He moves through the smoke, one snipe sees him, Petaways is alone, and long range can't win that fight. Bimbo King, yet again a kill for him. And he's going to put Bangabas on top, they went two rounds straight, and they're now leading. It's coming out, Duke seeing that, waiting for it. 
Carl Gift is still jumping up there. Duke wants to go for the kill there, almost gets it, but it's Mart this time opening up the round with a kill on Zet for all. The main push will be happening in a mid bimbo with a nade onto Mark. This is why you want to have that nade. A flash onto Petaway is going to make it very tough for him, but got a gifted fight back. Pink fights back. He's gone one. Actually, the second two into one snipe on range. As just Duke in the mid, Pablito is now moving up. That's Ron. Ron needs to get some extra kills here, but I think he's just going to move on to one. Can he catch Mart off guard? He does catch Mart off guard. That is the call for Duke to rotate. One's going to play close. The Fendi is still full, but pink slip. He still has mad up with the Fendi. Just now going to move in. Probably to, or Ron just needs to make sure that he gets back up. He's just gonna come via the garden. If he gets the kill onto Ping here, he doesn't spot Ping. Oh, he does spot him. Bomb's now going down. Let's move over to Bay Fenny. He's expecting the right angle, but he's not there. Now it's all on to Ping. And he just can't get the kill onto Ron. It's Bangbra's extending their lead. They're now three rounds in straight. And they're starting to find their way in. Diesel's flowing through that train. Slowly but surely, they're flying pressure onto E United. Mart has now moved over. They realize that just having ping there at the library area is not ideal. Mart is already moving up. Mart misses a shot there. A little bit too quick. Means that he has to push back a little bit. Duke could go for a pre fire here. If he hits that pre fire dead on, he will move Mart out of the way. It comes out, and he could be good. A bit of a damage and now move big they're pushing in and they trade out god gifted so that's good 4v4 zet for own bay Fendi about to meet up zet for all just surviving that and now mart needs to decide what do they need to do he's pre firing a little bit through the smoke but i think he realizes they're not going to push through just yet duke is clearing out the mid together with bimbo and mark is holding that Still watching that. Peta, yeah, Peta's playing very far back, and this is a bit of a danger for Mart because if they push him up close, like Duke is now about to do, he's going to get killed. Oh, he just looks away at the right moment. But now one snipe is going to move in. Can we go back to Mark? Zed Farrell is also moving up. He's going to meet up with Petaways. Petaways with the kill. One snipe is going to. They make a little bit of sound, but they are going to go towards one after after all. But Mart, Mart is hiding. He gets one. Second onto Bimbo. We'll see what's on. The knife in the jump. It's a 1v1 now. Oh, and immediately a second. That XM8 is so strong. And Bagpas is up four. Four straight. What a round by them. I thought Mart had sealed the deal there. But a jumping headshot with the XM8. And then a second kill by one snipe. That is amazing. That shows how good the XM8 is. It's great to see the XM8 being such a good gun because you never really see it a lot in cups. Now you see it a lot more and it's such a good gun. Mar this time, I think he's realized he needs to push up a little bit more. He needs to clear ground for his team. He misses the shot. That means he's dead and he is dead indeed. Ron gets the kill onto him. But also, Petaways has fallen in the mid. Gets his fighting back, need by one snipe, and now Bay Effendi on his own. Bangbuzz is starting to steamroll. Or oh, two kills by Bay Effendi, but can't get the third in. Five rounds straight for Bangbuzz as they now move to NRF side, but it looks like on e United's map pick, Bangbuzz really putting up a great showing here. In the first round, they decide to go over 2-1. Duke gets a kill onto Mark straight away. Good one by him. Zep Farrell realizes he's under pressure. Shooting comes out. Nate by Zep Farrell onto Petaways as well. My words. Nate spots really prevent. That's the second Nate kill of the round. Duke now the first actual frag of the round. 
Martyr's holding close. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> There's no way you can kill people like that. I would have zoomed in too. Six straight for about. They're about to take it. They're about to. Well, it's not a clean sweep. But if they win the next one, it's a fleep all. If, uh, uh, sweep all the way. More nates coming out. Good falling back. Bimbo Zet for all pushing up against God Gift, who's picked up the scope. And here's them push. He's just going to allow them, but this much map control for Bagbuzz is only good news for them because no blood's been drawn yet. But they're about to figure out what is going to happen. Well, they already know, really. Anyways, it's still in the mid. Bimbo King has moved over. They're now trying to go back and take some map control around the box room area towards one. Peta just needs to stay alive, but those nades have been really working out well for Bangmas. I think we've seen at least four or five nade kills so far this match. There's really only God Gifted who's been able to put up a positive score so far. 9.9 .9 damage as well, that is a lot. Now then, Mark and Bimbo King, Bimbo with the kill. How much can God Gifted do? Because either he or Mart really needs to step up now. Push over at two seems to be happening. Fanny's the first to look, the first to fall. Gifted fights back. Shot missed. God Gifted still holding that angle. Zed for all is not designed to push. So I think God Gifted is gonna go for this. Needs to get this kill onto Zed for all. Immediately a headshot. Nothing he could do against that. One snipe likely going to do the same with Mart. No, Mart is still alive. It doesn't miss a shot. But we still admit one snipe is trying to have a little push. But now Duke is exposed. Duke is exposed, gets killed. Shot miss onto one snipe. He's starting to push. Mart misses yet another shot. Now he does kill one snipe. And he's going to give back up. Run coming in. Third kill for Mart. He's on for a really good one. And this is needed. Zed for all then. 1v2 clutch. This is to seal the round. One down. Mart is there! It's Bagbus with a 7-1 victory! What a match! Two 1v2 clutches. But really, after, at, the, at the start I was like, okay, this is going to be a close match. But after that, Bagbus never looked back. They had the momentum. They kept the momentum. And they win seven rounds straight to steal away that first map. And I think we... No, we are, we're still good. We're still good. So they take that one. This was a United's map. This was a United's map. And we're now going to go to the EU server where we're going to see our second map being played. We're now going to move over to Canon. And this is the map that Bangbus has picked. But wow, I was not expecting them to come up this strong. Been invited to the match already. So we can see what is going on. Teams are starting to come in. Players are starting to come in. At least seven people in so far. Mart's now also moved in. Mm -hmm. 
Alright. Eight players in so far, just waiting for the last two. There's Mark as well. Just waiting for one more on the Bangba side. It looks like they're changing over, uh, but indeed it is this time a pick for United, at least a side pick. And with Duke now also coming in together with Zed for all, everyone is there. So we just need to see one snipe change, I think. Zin's coming in to spectate. Yeah, this should be a tough one because we know that strong pushes is really what is Bangbuzz's strategy. So I would expect him to be very strong here in Canon. Of course, the European server is definitely going to help uh, Unite out a little bit more. I think we're going to see a little bit of a closer match. But seeing how strong Bangbuzz has been tonight, I think it will be very, very tough uh, for United to bring this back to a third and final map. Realistically, though, the scopes need to step up. If Mart and Godgifted don't step up, then they're going to lose it because Bang was just going to push him out, shut them down and clear it away. And we are going to see that now. The teams are loading in. This is map two. First map was won by Bang was seven to one on Aslan. And that was a United's map pick. Now we are on Bang was map pick. This is map two, Cannon. Likely no guns have really changed here. Smoke's coming out. Nades too. Zep for all. Good one. Kind of will have to fall back. Bit more can hit a little bit. And they decided not to contest a Duke on the field. Also got gift to give to be a fan. He immediately fights back. And now Pablito is on his own. Ron really needs to watch out there. Mart is there with a the C4 as well. If Henry's just waiting and holding the close angle. I'm not sure if one snipe's going to check that. Now seen him. He's trying to run away, but Ron was there long range. Petaways has spotted one in mid as well, and I think Mart has realized that the side is open. One snap's gone Petaways, Mart's gone around. He gets Pablito though. Mark is being pushed from behind, gets another kill. And all of a sudden, it's a 1v2 situation for one snipe, but we've seen him win these before. Mart's rotating, they want to go for one, but Mark is going to be shot in the back because he's not expecting this. The kill. Now Mart has info. Is he going to use that info or just play it slow? He's going to take his time. And one snipe could now move in. He is on 35 HP. He's got no helmet, likely. Indeed, has none. He's going to move in. I'm going to use that nade. That nade could be good. Mart missed the shot and again a one snipe clutch. Three kills for him this round. But this is exactly what we said. The scopes need to step up. They seem momentarily to step up. But if you miss that shot, you lose the round. And it is first round going to Bangbus continuing their streak. And they're doing so well. Let's watch Petaways as he is going to push the bookshelf. Only so oh, there are four people onto two side. 
I think I think Bang Buzz is starting to troll a little bit. I think they realize, okay, we might have this, guys. Let's try let's try something crazy. That's what it looks like now. Let's actually go over to them. We have them waiting here. M1 one snipe. Mark's come in. This is a shot. Mark does get one snipe. Mark I should say Mark's been shot down. But the main push will be happening over at one side, so they'll likely have to go for a retake. That body is uh, glitching out a little bit. Get the standard FOV back again. More nades coming out. I was falling back a little bit. Mark is still in the mid. So he might be holding off any potential push. But he peeks too soon, and it will be Ron with a kill. Now Petaway is next in line. He already got one. He might be on for a massive 3k here. He is going to get pushed, but he gets three kills! And that was just Duke. Petaway is going to push out. They've spotted Duke. And it's four kills to Petaway's. A big highlight for him. And he is going to make sure to put that Bang Buzz onslaught to an end. They can they finish their streak at eight straight and around now one even on map two. And also for you guys in the chat, make sure to click that. Thank you very much. It's Petaways and that's another round. Zao's now gonna push it. Oh immediately the headshot into Peta. And this time they're gonna go to two. They're gonna smoke run off. One snipes here alone. How many kills can he get here? If any, immediately, he just needs to jump out and get him. He's gonna smoke deep, that means Mart is gonna be the first one contesting one snipe. He does get the kill. That is key. That is so, so key. But look at that, Ron just walks in. Mart is ready for it, though. He's still holding the angle. Gets the kill onto Jin as well. And all of a sudden, United is starting to get their gears running. And Duke finds himself in a 1v4. But he did this before. He did this in the previous match against Malukos. Can he do it again? He will need to go quick. He's been put on binals. Yeah, there's no way in for him. He's got no time. He's got no time at all. The nays come into Duke's low. And got gifted with a kill. United's got two on the board. And it's definitely going to become harder for Bangbus. They now, of course, have the server disadvantage. They had the server advantage. Keeping it slow for now. Mart's having a look around. Duke is not really moving there yet. Mart is going to move up in mid. Made a little bit of sound there. I don't think Duke heard it. Look at that. Petaway's already moved up close. Bimbo's holding a very close angle with the KCR. Look at the kill. Second kill onto him too. And they have with the kill onto Ron. And that means one side is now all open. 5v2 situation. Mart is still in the mid. Let's go over to him. Roger. Duke is going to check that dude. They know where one snipe is. Oh, Mark is a shot. Duke gets one. They have not spotted the offending. One snipe does get one back. But he can't get the second on to Petaways. 3-1 lead now to United. And they've started to pick up the pace. Mainly Petaways though has been getting some great kills now. The United giving themselves a little bit of breathing room after struggling a lot on Aslan. Let's go over to Duke a little bit because we haven't seen him too much this match. Only in that clutch situation earlier on, which was really no way to get started on that. Mark's almost on the side already. I don't think Duke's realized this. He's got to get back up in a moment. And here's shot. Mark's already on the side. One snipe is going to try and get there, but Bay Fanny's been shot. Shooting him through the smoke. Now Duke's holding that angle. He's seen one. Gets one onto Peta. That would have been a sick shot onto God Gifted. Gets Duke through the smoke. Good shot. 
Bimbo in the back, the Fendi pushes him. In Zhao alone. In Zhao down by Mart. Four rounds straight now to be united. And it looks like we're going to see a little bit of a reverse of what happened in the previous map. United definitely making a lot stronger showing. But I really do start to wonder how much is because of the map and how much is because of the server. Because these changes are quite big. They're starting to fall back a little bit. It's coming out, Bimbo King and Petaway is trading out a little bit there. 4v4 still. Bimbo is alone here. And there will be scopes watching him. I think it's BFN. He does get the kill indeed. Here comes Ron. A bit late. A bit too late. Two gets one. Gifted misses his shot there. Should throw a nade now. To give him at least some, some space to work with. Double smoke happening. It means God Gifted will watch behind. One snipe is just moving in there. Gets the kill onto him. And Duke in a 1v3 now. Tough round yet again for Duke. Good flash. That gift already holding the angle. Flash once again at the right moment. More missed shot. There's no way in. There's just no way in. You can shoot a little bit, but not more than that. Five rounds straight for E United. And they are now two rounds away from pushing it to a third and final map. Starting to look like pretty much a copy of the previous match. Although now it's bang buzz on EU. And if I were E United, I would be a little bit afraid of this at the very least. Shots coming out. Duke's already moving on the outside. A little bit of a lag spike there. Let's see if we can get a good angle on this. Got gifted falling back. Petaway's still there. He gets Duke. That's an important flag. Gets a second onto Bimbo as well. One sniper's fight back now. Bayefendi with the backup. Hadaways with the third kill of the round. And Ron shot down in the mid. Six straight now to E United. That they're one round away for pushing this to a final match. What a semi final match we're getting here. That is actually amazing. Had a very one side map. Look at Mart. Mart is just running it down mid. Duke misses a shot. At least Mart is going to fall back. But the push is now happening. God Gift the trades back after Ron got the opening kill. Headaway is still there. God Gift is moving around a little bit. Peta now shot in the back. Kill onto one snipe. God Gift it moves around once more. 2v2. Missed shot. More missed shots. Bimbo fighting back. Bimbo down. Duke versus Mark. Duke versus Mark. Duke wins it just by the nick of time. And he will at least make sure that we don't get a complete copy from the previous match. But Bangbuzz will need to win five more in order to push this to a third. Uh, in order to win it straight away. You know, it has five more match points. Beefendi now with a hard push into mid. But Zep for Amelie with a kill onto him. He's hurt Mart. That is info for Pablito. Going to move down mid. I think Mart knows he's gonna get pushed. He does know indeed. Gets the kill. Installs the roll tape, but with Mart playing so much more aggressive. Charge set. Going to make it that much harder for him. Mart is now he's not going to he's not going to check this. 3v3. 3v4, sorry. 4v2. Alright, Petaway's fighting back, Mark alone, and Duke with a cleanup kills. Three for him this round. He's starting to come alive. Slowly but surely, Brangbuzz is crawling back here. We know they are strong on EU. They lost that first round. We're now going to see a contest happening over at the bookshelf. Four players are there. Flashes and nades coming out. Mart immediately with the first kill. They Fendi wants to continue that push. God gives it with a kill onto one snipe. Mart again with a kill. They have gotten the bomb. But look at that. Ron has snuck through. And with that, catches two players off guards. A 2v2. Mark does fight back now. 
But now Duke, 1v2 situation. This would be a great one to keep them in this second match. Needs to pick up the bomb. He's missed the bomb. Not sure if he's done that on purpose or not. The other player is not really close. They do expect him to go to two. Nobody is out here at one. Of course, this is not information that Duke can have. Duke now going to have a Lulu. Gets the kill to be a Fendi. And all of a sudden, it's a clutch opportunity by Duke. He's made them before. Can he do it again? Mark is moving in from behind. Duke is getting that bomb down. Mark is already quite close, but Duke's gonna walk out. Now he's gonna stay in. He's gonna stay in. He misses out on Mark. Oh, the timing, the timing, the timing! Duke gets the 1v2. He's going to keep back Bazin. He's the only man positive. The only man positive. Three players, seven and a half kills, but then on eight or ten or ten, Duke's 14 and 7, almost the same as Petaways. He's 14 and a half and 7, but it's now three rounds straight for the Bang Bus. They stay in this. They make it close, and they show that they are very strong on EU. But look at that, the push is now happening. Ron leading the charge, Mart with the initial frag, but they're going to push him. Mart missing a shot there. Gets the second onto Bimbo. Now one snipe has also been shot down, but Duke's fighting back again. Mart is going to keep this, and. I think that was a no scope, but it is E United finally winning it here. They needed a couple match points, but they do have it done, and that means, ladies and gentlemen, we have a third map for the second semi final matchup. We're gonna go to Hammerblow, and we've seen sparks flying in the last cup when it was uh, NA versus EU. That was also with, uh, with Bimbo, I, I believe, and Duke. Of course, a different lineup. And uh, that map ended in 7-6 after 1v1 in the final round. And we can only expect fireworks in the final match here. But I think my game has crashed. Yeah. So I'll have to restart real quick. So now we're going to see in a moment what exactly we're going to get. Who is going to make the room, but we are going to hammer blow as you can see. But what an amazing match have we been seeing so far. It looked to be one-sided. That got very close at the end with a clutch by Duke. I really thought they were about to bring it back, but United did not fall there. But they do need to show more aggression, and we saw when the scope step up in the final round was Mark getting three kills, and God Gifted also got one. If the scope step up, it's very hard for Bangbus to counter that. So if the scopes have a good game, they could very well take it. But I want to see Mark use that Troy battle rifle. I want him to see, uh, yeah, see him use that and go for wall bangs because that could be so funny. Remember, this this is a semi-automatic sniper, right? It's a semi-automatic sniper and it has near perfect accuracy and jump shot. This gun is so, so fun to use and I love more people to use it. But it's only so far one person that has it with him, but nobody using it so far. Might be, of course, changing after the next game. Now getting back into the game. As we mentioned, we are going to the North American server. And we are back in so we can show you what is going on. All the players have readied up, or, well, are in the game. Everyone from United is readied up. Also, in the meantime, I'm just a little call for the chat. We are currently on 3,998 followers, only two away from that magical 4,000 number. Let's see if we can get there tonight. If not tomorrow, that would be amazing as well. But we are heading into this third and final map of the second semi-final matchup. It will be Bangbus starting on EU, 
and NRF taken by E United will have to get some good rounds in straight away. And the lower brackets, Malukos has defeated Z to H, uh, ZTH 2 to 0. So there's currently only three matches playing. Bayefendi immediately with a hard push. I'm not sure if Duke has seen that. Has Duke seen that? I don't think he has. Fenny's holding that close angle. Will one snipe check that? Will one snipe check this? Duke's already moved around. He might meet up with Mark in a moment. Oh, that is immediately two kills by them. But Gift has moved around. Mark is now rotating as well. But the first two kills immediately going to the bang bus. One snipe starting to wallbang a little bit. Yeah, he's going to be changing with the KCR and the TM8 now quite a bit, which is good. This is exactly how you need to play this map. And now in the lower brackets, Malukos will be playing Cable. Duke and Mark fighting with each other a little bit. Both getting a kill. 4v2 situation as we speak. Oh, Bimbo has seen Mark. And on long range, he still gets that kill fairly quickly. Oh, Gift is now alone, but I think they know he's in the side here. It's by the looks of it. Yeah, they know. They know he's here. They know two side is clear. Now is God Gift to go into attack? This Duke is watching here. Ooh, he's hiding. But does he know? But Belito is already moving in from the side. He misses the shot. And does get the kill now. Also saw Duke missing a shot there, but that does not matter, of course. First round here, go in. Two bang bus. And that is not good news for the NRF team. Terrible news, really, for the NRF team. Anyways, with a nade, deep nade. Actually, a Bimbo. Bimbo wasn't even in. Bimbo was out. That nade must come over here then, so it's a little bit better than the nade that I would usually throw, which lands right over here. But as helmet lost and a bit of damage to Bimbo, so he will now be vulnerable to, to whatever gun is going to hit him in the head. He's using that JMR. Seems to be a pretty decent gun. More people are using it. So I've yet to receive reports whether that gun is broken or not. So far it seems to be a good replacement. Flash is coming out, Bangbus wants to take the warehouse area, nobody is there to defend it. Once time's alone over at one side, Mart is trying to watch the DDs a little bit. It's just Petaway is really on the two side. Mart is now going to try and give him back up just a little bit. Not much happening just yet. Been looking, having a little look. Mart and Pablito could meet up any moment. Is Mart now going to peek it? He's being very careful here. He doesn't want to make any mistakes. Hedaways gets the kill onto Bimbo. Now Mart is going to have a look. Just goes for a pre-fire. It's got gift against Duke. One time it's going to cross over. Zephro gets Hedaways though. And with a good push from Bay Fendi, yeah, now Zephro is on his own. Mart did get the kill there as Ron pushed through. Gifted misses, but Mar does not. One all score. Defensive round this time by United, but they need to get more and more rounds here. Realistically, four, as we said earlier on when we saw this map. That's going to be a tough ask for them, as we've seen the match progress so far. Beefeni again going to push the bridge. Almost see it identical to the first round. Duke's gonna go round this time! Beefendi expects it! He just jumps out out of nowhere, catches Duke off guard. But now Pablito is pushing Mart. Pablito is pushing. But he still gets shot down by Mart. That is good, but Bimbo King now pushing in to two side. Mart careful with it. Gets one. Zephro with the retreat. But it's God Gift who was also waiting there. The bomb is down. 1v2 situation. One snipes in mid. God Gifted is already watching this doll. I think one snap realizes he needs to attack this in a different way. One v two. He's done one before. That was with the XM8 on map one. This would be a huge one to make for them, and this would put Bangos with one lag into the winner bracket finals. 
gifted as knock into the angle. I don't think one snipe is going to be expecting that, and he indeed won't. Another kill for God gifted, second of this round, and E United moves up. If any, going to push the bridge again. This time he's going to decide against it. He's going to throw a nade and fall back a little bit. A nade onto Duke. That does significant damage. Very significant damage. Duke's about 2 HP. So I'd have a little look there, but nobody is watching that angle. Fire in the hole. Tough start for the bank bus to this round. Their only scope, low HP. Ornate's coming out. Not yet to get hit by that. Can't make the jump as a result of it. it Would have helped him out tons. Now going to play further back so they can fall back if he needs to, in case a push in happens, because it looks like they do want to push in. Flashes and Nate's coming out. Pedrito is in. Mark the fight back. God gift is also there. They do fight back. They have Benny now with the help. But the trades have been made and sides been taken. Marge is going to throw a nade. He has already thrown the nade, but the bomb wasn't going down just yet. Now it's a 2v2 retake. 2v3 retake. Duke is low. Bimbo is low. It's only Jin Zhao who is full HP. They're going to try and do a bit of a pincer movement. Here's Petaways. Both looking the same way now. Marge is trying to come in. Mart's gotten Duke. Now Petaways comes in and Bimbo with the 2k. Mart did get one, but didn't get the right one. And it will be Bang Bus evening this course 2 to all. But I really thought that United had the side there on lockdown. But with that 3 kill straight away, that really sealed the deal for them. And yeah, if Mart threw it an A a little bit later, but of course you want to throw it quick. You expect them to set the bomb as quickly as possible. But they are a bit careful with it. Now BFN is moving up once again. He's missing a shot. If any pushing up, he is playing super aggressive tonight. But he is making sure at least that he can shut down the scope. And that is a big effort. That is that matters a lot. He's not getting any multi-kills yet so far. Tefro really biding his time here. And was moving in with him. But the team's they're playing a lot more careful than last map, obviously. I mean, like everyone in the chat has also mentioned, Cannes is a much faster map than Hammer Blow. Hammer Blow is a lot slower. We're not seeing that many wall banks yet that you would expect normally. But we're seeing the teams play very carefully, also because this is the third map, and also because of the map. It's nature. Mark now about to get pushed. Peeks out. There's quite a bit of damage. But needs to watch out. He doesn't die. He needs to reload. His helmet's been removed. And that will not help him out. Most of the players have now rotated. Three players on two side. God gifted alone on one. There might be one sniper who's going to try and open up over at one. Jin Zhao is tagged, I believe. No, it's just really Jin Zhao who's low. Bimbo's a little bit tagged, but not all that much. Look at that, they want to go over to one side, but God Gifted has switched to deployment. He's been very strong with that. Pablito, though, with a kill. Two kills! He's opened up two side. This could be huge. Mart needs to get the kill onto Pablito. Oh, he didn't see him. Mart didn't see him. But Mart's gonna hide. But they, ha they have one side. They have one side. They caught him completely off guard. And now the bomb's down. Oh, and God Gifted realized he doesn't have a nade. Does Mart have a nade? He doesn't either. They need to go for a retake. Bang Boss has played this round to perfection with a pr beautiful fake. Mart gets one into one snipe though. God Gift is waiting for Zephyrol to move in. He doesn't. Mart gets a second. Zephyrol is about to push in. He's going to play around with Mart. Jumps up, still gets the kill, but it would have been no time anyways. Bang Buzz is now up 3-2, to two. they still have a round to play with, and they've already played EU as well as they could. 
But that round was something else. That was some great, great strategy going over to one side. And they were in before anyone realized. That is massive. Petaways this time is waiting with a name. He's gonna throw it. And nobody will be there. And they're now approaching this round a lot differently. Marden gonna meet up with Duke. Duke immediately with a kill. Bay Fendi though, this time he does get a multi-kill. This is what we were talking about. Multi-kill for Bay Fendi. He does survive as well. He is low HP, but that's important because now it's still a 3v3. Bimbo is also tacked up significantly. He's currently 8 and through. He's the top frag for the team. Mart's also the top frag. Bimbo's now going to push out, trying to get some through. The wall gets me a Fendi through it, who was already lit. But I think God... No, God Gift is, is, is tagged, but not that much. That nade is good. That nade is good, but not amazing enough. God Gifted with two. And now Jinzao alone, headshotted straight away by Petaways. And they keep each other in balance. It is three all. Oh my, this is gonna be good. The, team, the teams are keeping it as close as they can. Either as four rounds away from a spot in a winner bracket finals and a game up with Clown Fiesta, which we will see after this. It's gonna be a pretty long evening as we speak. More nades coming out now. Deep one, but nobody there. We see Bangbus playing a little bit more passively here. We're gonna move over to Duke though, because Duke will likely meet up with the players first. And he's playing at a very cheeky angle. You don't see players play here that often. Uh, but this is also around the area we can get nades while. So if someone throws a nade that goes over here, I think Duke's, Duke's gone. But will Mark throw that nade? He's gonna throw a flash in at least. He's not going to expect this off angle by Duke. Look at that. You're not going to expect that. Where is Mark? There he is. Finals have been dropped. Mark does not want it. Just want it actually. I'm throwing deep smoke. Now with the Bino, Mark's gonna push in. Snipe is there, Bino's come out, Mark gets shot down, a lot of kills happening. Duke also with a kill. Petaway's alone. Duke missing that shot. Pistol is out. He loses that fight, but runs there to trade. Operation success. To main base. The lead stays with Bang Bus. And I have a feeling this is going to be extremely tough for E United to come back from. Teams looking around and about. Duke missing that shot there onto Bay Fendi and immediately rotates. So I have a feeling it's going to be one, and the bomb is indeed going there. All the players, as a matter of fact, are going there. But yeah, Bimbo has good mid control, so they know they're not mid. Good damage onto Mark. Petaways over the kill onto Duke. This is what I meant! If you stand over there, you're vulnerable for a nade spot, and that is been made very evident there and now got gifted is in one sniper still waiting as well he's trying to make sure his position does not get revealed gets three kills almost with the fort but it is teamwork Jin Zhao cleaning up but what a hole by one snipe he's played that carefully not showing himself and that allows Bangbus to get yet another round they're now up 5-3. They can almost taste victory now. Two rounds away as Bimbo is going to run it down mid. Once again, Duke giving him backup. He's going to fall back a little bit. Let's move over to Bimbo because he's going to see Mark in a moment. Bimbo has fallen back though and now nobody will meet up with him. Well, they expect Bimbo because they're literally on the other side of one another. They're in such close proximity, but they have no clue. This is also not really a spot you start wallbanging out of nowhere as Mark has gotten the kill onto one snipe onto one side. Shot's not happening. Fabrizio is pushed. Now also pushed by Bimbo. He does fall there eventually. Duke does fight back! Xin Zhao with a massive kill there too. Long range onto God Gifted. 
And now, the Biafeni alone, he falls. It is four match points for Bangbus, and I don't think they're gonna give this away. I think Bangbus is on their way to move on to the grand, or to the winner bracket finals against Clown Fiesta. They are waiting, they have been waiting for a good hour. And they will meet up with them soon. Bimbo King this time. Still fall back a little bit. It's taking a little bit of damage, but not all that much. It's gonna throw a nade. That doesn't do any damage, respectively. is still there with Mark. Does realize he can wallbang it there, but Mark has already retreated. More nades coming out. One snipe sees that. Should call that out, too. That's a good nade. That might do a lot of damage and hits Mark. It doesn't kill him. So go for some wall bangs. More smokes coming out. It's gonna bino with it. Good flash onto him. Mark and Bimbo King though. Very close to each other. Bimbo King with a the kill there. This is the this is the cue to push. They have to push now. Padaways gets Pablito, but they have to go into one side. God Gift is already going. He gets a kill onto one snipe. Blue Fan can only get one. 3v2 situation, but Jin Zhao's already pushed in. He's already pushed in. Can't get the kill onto Petaways. It is a push though, but it doesn't matter. God Gifted gets the kill onto Bimbo. They keep them in, but God Gifted definitely has to step up. He is 12 and a half and 6. Mart is doing quite okay, but not good enough. And Bimbo King really been wreaking havoc. 13 and 6. The most kills out of anyone this serve, and the most damage as well. This time, BFN is going to run into Pablito. We immediately will get that kill onto him. BFN, he's starting to struggle a little bit more. Currently five and a half and nine, but Mark's been struggling the most so far this matchup. Everyone on Bangbus currently positive. As Mark saw Mimbo there. Will this nade hit him though? The nade's a little bit too deep. And we're looking around. Dude gets a kill onto Mart. That is a big frag. 3v5 now. This could be it. This could be it. They need to go for a mid goal. Bimbo is holding it. They need the kill onto him straight away. Or that could be all she rolled for. I think God Gifted will pick up the score by Mart. I think he has already. He hasn't actually. I'm moving back a little. It is so hard to push the double doors. Because if someone is holding it close, you are definitely going to die. They are gonna go for it though. They throw deep smoke. They throw a flash over. Blitz is already there. Wallbang's happening onto Bimbo. They get the kill onto Bimbo. But now Petaways needs to fall back. Pablito is pushing him. Pablito is pushing him. He gets the kill still. It's not over yet. Has to run away from Jin Zhao. God gifted now on long range. Oh, immediately the kill by one step. That's it. Padaways is alone, and Duke with the pistol kill seals the deal for Bangbus. They move on to the winner bracket finals. And that was a solid matchup for them.